Hi, Chem students. Welcome to a tutorial over drawing orbital diagrams. Um, please have out your Making the Connection activity. This actually should be in your yellow lab notebook. Okay, so you can get a little bit ahead on this Making the Connection activity by watching this video. Orbital diagrams are really not as bad as kids make them out to be. They directly correlate with the electron configuration, though. So we're going to review that first. So I'm going to be flip-flopping back and forth between this page and my periodic table. So you want to have both of these out, your nice, pretty, colored periodic table, and the Making the Connection activity. So the first thing you want to have is the electron configuration written out. So if you're looking at this activity, if the atomic number is 1, we are obviously talking about hydrogen. So I'm going to label that on my activity. The element symbol is hydrogen. So the electron configuration for hydrogen is very simple. We are in the one uh, energy level, the S sub level, and hydrogen just has one electron. That's why it's, um, its atomic number is a one. So to represent hydrogen, I'm going to write out the electron configuration of 1s1. It just has one electron, so that's all it should be. It's 1s1. So, on an orbital diagram, you represent these electrons with arrows, okay? So, the first orbital is 1s. Well, how many electrons should I have in it? One. I represent that with an arrow. And I say arrow, it's more like a half arrow, okay? It just has um, one little point. It doesn't have one on the other side. Okay, so let's look at our next one, the atomic number 2. That's across the periodic table over here, that would be helium. Okay, so going back to the making the connection activity, this is HE. Its electron configuration is 1s2. So it's still in the first energy level, it's in the s block, but it has two electrons. So I need to represent these electrons with arrows. So they are in the 1s region, so up, down. So those are two separate arrows, one facing up, one going down. Remember that one of our rules, and that's Hun's rule, says that our arrows have to have opposite spins, or our electrons have to have opposite spins. So looking at the um, next one, this is lithium with an atomic number of three, meaning three electrons. So I've got Li, it is one S2, and it goes down to the 2 uh, energy level, is in the S block, and it has one electron in that 2S region, okay? So one electron in that 2S region. So I should have a total of 2 plus 1, 3 electrons, 2 electrons in the 1s, and 1 electron in the 2s. So this pattern continues throughout the periodic table. Number 4 is beryllium. It has 2 electrons in the 2s. So it's going to be written out 1s2. 2s2. That's a total of four electrons now. So when I write this as an orbital diagram, I put Be for beryllium, and then I need four arrows. One going up, one going down. One going up, one going down. Okay? Are you still with me? Hopefully so. <laughs> Number five. This is when it starts to get interesting. So we're going to go across the periodic table to boron. Oh, now I've hit a new block. This is my P block. Okay, and what's interesting about this is you have to understand what orbitals are. Okay, we talked about the analogy that in my room I have desks. And at my lab desks, two people sit there. Think of an orbital as a lab desk. You can only fit in there two electrons. So in this P block, there are three orbitals, but six electrons can fit total. So that's why when you see in an orbital diagram for that P block, there are three orbitals, not just one, like the S block, okay? So that's why there's three dashes. So for my boron, 
I am going to write out the electron configuration first. It's going to be 1s2, 2s2, and 2p1. So I have two electrons and the 1s, two electrons and the 2s, and one electron in the 2p. So let's continue. The next one is carbon. Now, it's interesting that I drew these little um, orbitals. The fun thing about this is boron and carbon cannot sit at the same desk together, okay? Um, in these orbitals, they want to be as far apart as possible. So, for carbon, its electron configuration has one more electron, so 1s2, 2s2, and it's 2p2. Now watch how my arrows fill the 1s up down, the 2s up down, and then the 2p up, up. Again, they don't want to sit at the same desk. They want as much space as possible. Let's look at the next one. Next one is nitrogen. So nitrogen, same sort of thing. Its configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, extra electron. So I'm going to go up, down, up, down, up, up, up. I should have a total of my 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 3 is 7 electrons. So 7 arrows are drawn for oxygen. This is the first time we're going to go back and make a pair. Okay, it's like being out of desks in the room or in a row. So I have to go back and pair people at the same desk. So oxygen, its configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So eight electrons total this time. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, I'm out of desks, and I need to go back and make my first pair. Okay? So they want as much room as possible. So this time we see our first pairing. Okay, then I'm going to do fluorine and finally neon. So fluorine and neon. So fluorine is written out 1s2, 2s2. 2p5. Neon would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So in the p region for fluorine, I should have five arrows. In the p region for neon, I should have six. So one, two, three, four. And then here, up, down, up, down, up. And then up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So in neon, this entire orbital um, of 2p will be filled, okay? So neon is very happy, okay? It's very, very stable being like this. Okay, let's look at another one. So I'm going to continue through this. Our next one is sodium. So what happens with sodium? Now we're in 3s with one electron in there. So we're just going to continue filling. So you can start to see some of the patterns here. Um, what was I on? I was on sodium. Okay, so sodium, Na. It is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Now I go down to 3s and there's one electron. So, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, 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 up. Okay? So, I hope you're starting to see this pattern um, of what these orbital diagrams look like. Hopefully, you have a head start on the Making the Connection activity. Um, I will see you tomorrow in class. We can practice this more, and I can answer your questions. Have a great night.